Okay, Drummer Zone, here we are. We're back at RMI Studios in Chatsworth, California. I'm Russ Miller, and we are going to talk about something really important, which is the development of a solid and definable pulse in what you're playing. Now, this is a big lesson, and I've done full clinics on this before, but I'm going to do a brief little thing about it, give you some examples, okay? The easiest way to demonstrate this is with a swing beat, and then I'll show you how to make a more like pop rock, uh, type beat out, of, beat out of it. A lot of times I hear people play a swing beat and it sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three. Everything that I played is seemingly okay. The problem is there's no definable pulse for this particular style. All the notes are there, the mix is fine, but it doesn't feel like anything. A couple things are happening. One, on the ride cymbal, I was not defining the quarter note pulse, which is important for this style, all right? This is quarter notes. That is like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. It's very simple. One, two, three, four, one, three, four. I want two, I want two, three, four. Okay, that seems really simple until you try to play everything else at the same time and continue to make that happen. So one of the things that I see a lot of people do is rush the third partial of the triplet. So triple let, triple let one, triple let two. If you rush that third part of that triplet, you end up rushing the next downbeat. So it sounds like this. One, two, three. All right, that next downbeat is part of that quarter note pulse, right? So here's what you can do to practice it, and then I'm going to show you how it sounds. Left hand, or right hand if you're left-handed, just play the quarter notes over here. That seems really easy, but it's not. When you go to do it, you're going to hear these hands flam because this is coming down early. So what's happening is if you stand back, this is what your quarter notes sound like. They're not smooth with a nice pulse. They have like this jaggedy thing going on because you're rushing. So you practice it this way, both hands playing quarter notes, and then add the swing beat in. Now look what happens when I go back to play my swing beat. I'm going to define that quarter note pulse, and I'm going to add the other pieces in, and you're going to hear it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hopefully you can hear the difference, right? And that translates to rock and pop and everything else the same. And a quick demonstration of that is, if let's say I'm playing a beat where the hi-hat part is dot, da, 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 right? Dot, da, 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 da. Inside of that is the eighth notes. Dot, da, 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 there's my eighth notes. So I want to establish my eighth notes and then add that part into it.
you've ever heard Jeff Beccaro, the great Jeff Beccaro play, it sounds like his hi-hat. <laughs> as soon as he starts playing that, you can hear the eighth notes in that groove. That's part of the pulse that's driving you and driving the band. Don't just play that rhythm, but make sure you're creating that fundamental pulse through everything that you're doing. And you're going to see your groove get stronger and more solid and drive the band harder. And the audience is going to dig it a lot more as well. So check that out. Mm -hmm.